Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, dogs and cats, and a few parrots. I know you're out there watching me, repeating everything I say. We're here in Hearst, Ontario, just getting our day going here. Uh, we're going to see if we have time to stop and cap this casing for a shower. And that's the excitement for today. Other than that, we're driving through Northern Ontario, which is actually pretty exciting because it's pretty scenic, especially for those of us who don't live here. It's something different than just the flat, boring prairies. It's not the Rocky Mountains like we saw last week, but it's something. It's something. Do any of you have a shoehorn in your truck? I have a shoehorn. It's to save my shoes. I found that when I use a shoehorn, put my shoes on with an old man's shoehorn, my shoes last longer. And there's your random fact for today. Got it out of the way, first thing. Okay, so we got our shoes on. Get you out of here. We got our weasel right here, ready to go somewhere. You uh, you got something in your eye there, buddy. Here, you gotta clean yourself up before you go on camera, man. Clean your shit in. Don't be embarrassed, it's okay. They all think you're very handsome. They think you're the best looking weasel in the whole world. The whole world, man. It's a big place. There can only be one diesel weasel. Lord of the weasels and the woozles. You're like extra weird this morning, man. You feeling okay? You sleep good? I slept fantastic, Diesel, and that's why I'm extra weird today. All right, buddy. All right, all right. I hear you, I hear you. Let's get out of there. Go for a weasel walk, shall we? Just a weasel walking through Hearst. Things moving today. Well, what do you know? That'd be a cool job to have, eh? There's some guy sitting like right up in there. Just sits up there all day. Lifting stuff up, bringing it over there. Bet you he gets paid a pretty penny too. Muddy yesterday, man. Come on, bud. It's a muddy yard, that's why. Muddy, muddy, muddy. Oh wow, look at all those railway ties over there. Just sitting there waiting for someone to come load them up. It's probably very illegal to do that, but wouldn't that be nice? I could make a whole bunch of stuff with those. Look at this, just big, massive piles of railway ties. I wonder if they do anything with them or if they just leave them there to rot. Huh. How convenient. I can back my trailer right up to them. <laughs> bad idea, bad idea. I believe that would be government property because our railways are nationalized, right? So that's government property. You don't want to steal from the government. No, it doesn't work that way. They steal from you. It doesn't go the other way around. Ugh. And this is why we have that extra sheet on the bed and the seat cover on the seat. Come on, Diesel, come here. I want you to stay on your seat and let your feet dry off, okay? The seat cover we can wash. Let's take that off and wash it. Same with the sheet in the back, just in case you get adventurous and go back there before your feet are dry. But I want you to stay on your seat, okay? All right, up, up. Go on your seat and stay on your seat. No, <laughs> go up. You can go. No, you don't have to stay here. No, I said stay on your seat. I'm sorry. I told you to stay right in the middle. Such a good boy. You see how well you listen there? Sorry, bud, you heard the word stay. Okay, go up in the truck. Go on your seat. On your seat. Come on. Go. Good boy. You stay there, okay? Stay. Such a good boy. <laughs> Can't believe he listened to me like halfway up. Oh, he says stay. One might say that was remarkable, Weasel. Very, very nice. Wow. You listen so good. Okay, can you sit? Can you sit? Okay. You're gonna stay on the seat until your feet dry, okay? Don't go back there. I know your sheet is on there, but I'm trying to keep that sheet clean as long as possible. It's just there in case you go back there when I'm not looking. But I'm looking, okay? So you stay on the seat. I looked away for two seconds and what happened? What happened? You, it wasn't the toy. It wasn't him. 
Who did that? You know, that's why I put the sheet on the bed. That's why I put that on there. You're not perfect. It's okay, neither am I. It'll be fine, we'll just wash the sheet. You can train them and train them and do everything right. But, uh, you know, they're never gonna be perfect. <laughs> That's why you gotta take precautions just in case. It's like having a child. I don't have a child yet, but I, I would imagine it's somewhat the same. Doesn't matter how much you try to teach them how to do things, they're just gonna do it their own way sometimes and uh, mess things up a little bit, but. What can you do? What can you do? Gotta love the guy. Let's pull ourselves onto the road. Like I was saying, it's Hearst, Ontario. One of the bigger towns along the northern route, Highway 11. I like taking this route because there's less hills, less traffic usually. But more and more people are discovering this and uh, it's getting busier and busier. And the thing about Highway 11 is there's not very many passing lanes. So if you meet someone going slow, who likes to go fast when there is a passing lane, you're never getting past them. We gotta stop doing that, guys. <laughs> Last night, I, I was following this one guy who was going 70 kilometers an hour in a 90 zone, okay? Already frustrating me, so I'm waiting for the, like, the one passing zone, right? One passing zone gets there, suddenly he takes off like a rocket, doing 120 at least. Couldn't get past him. Passing lane ends, goes back down to a two lane, slows right down to 70 kilometers an hour. Happened all the way from Long Lac, all the way to Hearst. Man, it's driving me nuts. They had British Columbia plates too. I don't know what they were doing all the way out here. Is very vigilant to that if there's somebody behind me that I can tell wants to go faster than I'm going I'll make it easy for them to get by me all right when it's safe to pass I'll either signal them to come on by or whenever they do make the move to pass and pull out into the passing lane I'll actually slow down you know like a normal human being let them get past me and then they're out of my hair and then they can go however fast they want to go and I can continue on without somebody you know riding my rear end everybody wins but so many people don't get it. Just slow down, make it easy for them to get by you, and then both of you are happy. Just don't be the guy who passes someone then slows down. You see, that ruins it for everybody. All right, there, there's driving etiquette. Driving is an art form. So many people don't know this. <laughs> or maybe I'm just kind of obsessed with it. They call me a professional, I don't know. You be the judge. Campus casing. This is where GM has their cold weather development center where they uh, test their vehicles in cold weather. Which of course it's in Ontario, right? You know it's much colder in Manitoba and we got like territories above Manitoba yet where you could put your development center. But then Ontario wouldn't have their, uh, their little GM business there, eh? Oh well. That's how we get left out. So Capus Casey, you see the sign here just to the right in blue letters. Strange name for a town, I know. Used to be an old railway town. I'm gonna stop here at the Flying J, have a shower. And then we'll be on our way. I've called the customer, they're expecting us there. First thing tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. And then we gotta rush down to Moortown it's about a five hour drive, closer to Toronto. I think it's on the other side of Toronto. Uh, quickly unload there. And then the rest of the trailer is going to our facility in Waterloo, Ontario.
Cochrane, Ontario. There's also a Cochrane in Alberta. This is the Ontario one. One kilometer, turn right on, Trans-Canada Highway, Highway 11. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Diesel, what do you think? Very nice. Yeah, I know. Very nice idea. How nice of her to tell us the obvious. And again, I guess it wouldn't be obvious to everybody because not everybody comes through here all the time. So, I had a wonderful bean to cup coffee at the Flying J before, or from the Flying J, so I don't need to stop here at Tim's. But this is where I would usually stop. I'd usually park over there. Meters. And then go to Tim's over Highway. there. Highway is the scale closed? The scale is closed. Diesel! Those are my favorite scales. Did you know that? My favorite scales are the closed scales. I find they work a lot better for me. So we have about another 650 kilometers to go, which is seven hours of driving or so, at least. Probably more than that. But, uh, we'll be driving into the night again. Often drive into the night uh, this time of year because the sun goes down sooner in the day. King here now. I got lots of food in the truck and I don't want to spend money on food because I have food. But it's tough. Even though I went and bought food for myself, I really, 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 really want Burger King. But I'm just going to make myself a sandwich. But I am going to go get a coffee. I don't like coffee uh, that I make, really. I usually like it if someone else makes my coffee. It's a couple of bucks a coffee and it gives me an excuse to get out of the truck and get moving. That's why I like getting out of the truck to go get coffees. And it always seems to taste better when someone else makes the coffee for me. I don't know why. But I don't want to waste too much time here. We got a, a little ways to go to Aspley. Ap Aspley? Aspley. Got my coffee. <laughs> the girl at the chill there, I guess, saw my Jets hat and I forgot I was wearing it. She's like, hey, you're cheering for a good team. And once I figured out what she was talking about, I was like, oh, the Jets, yeah, yeah, go Jets, go, right? And she, she's like, well, do you like the, do you like the Leafs? And I was like, no, not at all. And her face was just pure disappointment. She's like, oh, well, we can't be friends then, I guess. And she's like, why don't you like the Leafs? I'm like, because I like winning teams. <laughs> For those of you that don't get the joke, uh, I'm in leaf country, in leaf territory here, and uh, they're very, very passionate fans. 
but the joke is that the truth, it's actually the truth, the truth is actually the joke. They haven't won a Stanley Cup since like the 60s. <laughs> since before I was born. So, uh, I like to remind them of that every now and then. I mean, I can't say anything more for the Jets, but hey, we lost our Jets for a while. Phoenix stole them from us, but we got them back. We went all the way down to Atlanta and we got our team back. We brought them back up here. I think Canada, uh, Western Canada took two teams from Atlanta. They took the Atlanta Flames, which became the Calgary Flames, and then Atlanta tried again. They're like, oh, maybe it'll work this time. No, nope, nobody wants to watch hockey in Georgia. So we took their team, their second team, which was, what was it, the Atlanta Thrashers, right? And we bought them, and we turned them into the Winnipeg Jets. And I bet you anything, Atlanta's going to go ahead and try to buy another hockey team one day and try it again. They just never learn. People don't watch hockey in Georgia. They don't care about hockey. They watch football and basketball and, you know, America stuff. Hockey's for us people up here in the north. Quebec City needs a team, okay? I'm rooting for you, Quebec, and that's... I should say something. A Westerner saying, hey, Quebec should have another team. And I think Halifax should get a team too. Get a team out there in the Maritimes. Oh yeah. Get Hamilton a team too in Ontario. I, I know Ontario has already got two teams, right? Two? Yeah, they got Ottawa and Toronto. But uh, you don't see many Ottawa fans, unless if you're right around the Ottawa city, but the Leaf Kingdom, the Maple Leafs, they have fans like nationwide and they're like diehard fans. I mean, it's okay if you want to cheer for a losing team, it's up to you. <laughs> I can hear their keyboards are on fire right now already. They're typing so hard in the comment section. I'm just messing with you guys. But seriously, they haven't won a game since the 60s. <laughs> I gotta be careful what I say, though. People around here are gonna hear me. Smash out my headlights or something. I'm just kidding. It's not that kind of rivalry. Like, we're not uh, crazy. We don't go around smashing other people's stuff because they disagree with us. <laughs> that's not that's not the way we do things up here. Okay, sandwich time. We're gonna make some sandwich. Some sandwich. Just one sandwich. Oh, it's gonna be good. I'm a really diehard Miracle Whip guy. Miracle Whip, Miracle Whip. But I think I may have just gone to the dark side. I got mayonnaise when I was at Walmart yesterday and I love it so good one sandwich I'm trying to eat less trying to lose weight again I'm always trying to lose weight I'm, all, I'm not on a diet everyone always says trucker Josh you're not paying attention to your diet trucker Josh you eat too many donuts I know I like donuts I'm not on a diet just I try not to eat too much too often but sometimes you just can't say no to the honey curler what it's true All right, we got bologna. Cue all the comments that say, bologna is really bad for you, trucker Josh. Yeah, well, watch this. This will blow your mind. Diesel, you want some bologna? Are you serious, man? You dropped it? Are you going to eat it? Was it your first time? See, he loves it. That's all you get, bud. See, look at this, mayonnaise. It's half the fat of the regular mayonnaise, apparently. You can put a little bit on here. Oh yeah. Put a little bit of that there, this here. Oh, excuse me. I'm excited. Okay, this week I've really cut down on how much I've been eating. I've been uh, taking, keeping track on my phone and my app again, how much I've been eating, just so that uh, you know, if I don't, if I don't pay attention to it, I do overeat. I really like food, and food likes me. There you go, Diesel. You want a treat? This is a real dog treat, not bologna. How about some dried beef liver? Oh, that sounds delicious. There you go. There you go. Oh yeah, don't you just love dried liver? 
it's actually his favorite. I'm gonna sprinkle some on your food so that you finish your food because you haven't finished your supper yet, man. I'm already making my supper. You need to eat your supper too, okay? I wanna be able to go home and tell mom that you ate all your food, that you were a good boy. All right. Let's get back to trucking. Another few hours. I'll probably see you at the end of the road. We're in Halliburton, Ontario. It's still about 50 miles, or I mean uh, 80 kilometers from where we need to be. Everything is dark, deserted, everyone's going to sleep. I guess it's not deserted, people are just sleeping, you know, like humans do. Car parked there. Meters, turn left on Mountain Street, Highway Oh, he's parked there. So I drive past him. Okay. I've never been in this town before. Is this where I need to turn? I'm going straight through. Is I supposed to turn there? This guy's got his high beams on. Why you got your high beams on in town, man? 118. Here we go. Here we go. This is where we turn. I do believe. Karen, you gotta be more specific. I don't wanna get lost because of you. Not many people ask for directions. Hey, look, a tank. Continue on this road for 23 kilometers. They got a tank in this town, that's cool. Easily, see that? There's a tank. I want a tank. That'd be awesome. Can you imagine the vlogs I could make on that? Am I on the right road? This looks like a very narrow road. I know it's very dark, you guys can hardly see anything. Just have to hope for the best, I guess, eh? I can hardly see anything. <laughs> and I'm driving! High beams, there we go. Okay. Apsley is apparently in the middle of nowhere, Ontario. Good to know. I gotta find a place to sleep somewhere out here yet. Hopefully they got some kind of parking somewhere. I wanna be here first thing in the morning though, you know? The final debate is in five minutes. I gotta find a good live stream. Don't wanna miss this. This is gonna be entertaining. Uh, well, we're about 30 miles from our delivery point. Found a little pullout on the side of the road where we could park for the night. From here, we'll do the rest tomorrow. I was able to watch the debate. I think it went really well. I think it was much better than the first one and the lack of the, the, the town hall second one thing that they did, whatever that was, uh, did... I think it went pretty good. That was the best one out of all three. I mean, sounded pretty, it was pretty entertaining. I'm tired though. I've got to go to bed. So thanks for tuning in today. Diesel, do you have anything to add? Not a thing, man. All right. We'll see you all in the morning. Don't forget to subscribe and share the video on your social media so other people can hear about us too. And hopefully they subscribe to you. We'll see you tomorrow.